Welcome back everyone to the next installment of The Swapper. We're over here and we're trying to get to command. Hopefully we can land this ship and also live. Apparently we have mere hours if we don't get off this thing. Emergency Vac 4. There are 23 of us left alive, most of whom are sick. Command has been locked down from the inside. The Watchers are what's killing us. We know that now, but even if we had days ago, we wouldn't have been able to jettison half of them before there'd be too few of us left alive to do it. We brought on board so many. We're a long way from anything out here. I wonder how long it'll be before we're discovered. If anyone finds this, for your own sakes, don't talk to the Watchers. Uh-oh. <laughs> but I want the... Completion... I got the... 30 Watchers. And I think I got all of them? I... hmm. Let's hope this goes okay. Although it looks like we're finally gonna meet up in that place we couldn't access uh, a long time ago, so this this could be good. Oh. Guess I'll die. <laughs> I gotta keep remembering that there are just regular buttons I could push sometimes. Oh, that's cool. And that's that's a lot of bodies that I'm just noticing. I cannot swap with them. Just curious. I don't know what that would accomplish even if I did. We're getting close. That was the perfect ricochet. Okay, we are almost there. And we even have a teleporter. It's too late now. At one time there were many mines, now there are not. They disconnected from the chain as you will too. Yeah, long distance. Let's just go. Oh boy. Where are you? Who said that? Both good questions. I can only answer the former with certainty. It took us years to eat our currently inhabiting these brains. We are these brains. Do excuse Dennis. Some people don't realize identity theory is more out of date now than when we sealed ourselves in here. We had a choice. Die out there, starve in here, or use the swapper device to inhabit these research specimens and await rescue. I'm not proud, but which would you choose? In retrospect, certainly not the option we took. I know what you think. I was asking her. I'd have to believe you first. The evidence is right there. Take a look. Wait. What you're telling me isn't possible. Tell me who just materialized in front of my eyes. Tell me who I just ejected into space. You ejected your clone. Perhaps your clone ejected you. Does it really matter? You're still yourself. Copies of copies of copies. What's important now is that we get off this station. The ship I came here in is fried. I have a rescue team on the way. They'll be here in a day's time. Not soon enough. Why not? There's a life form on this station that will kill us in a matter of hours. Uh. And you just unsealed the only shielded section. We were safe in here for decades. There must be something we can do. There might be, but not like this. You have to use the device to release me. Swap places with me, just until I can put things right. 
It's not as simple as that. You can't make me do that. I won't do it. Even if I were in a position to make you do it, I wouldn't. You have the same choice we do. You can die here, or you can do what you have to to go on. That sucks. So Chalmers is inhabiting some random person's body who investigated the ship. And now I'm a random person who investigated the ship. Substances, three mines, one at corpus, two X corpus. Method, swapper device engaged on all three mines simultaneously. Result, me. When the device was engaged by the trespasser, her own mind was combined with the Chalmers and Dennett mines to create me. I cannot tell if I am all of them or none of them, for I do not remember what it is like to be anyone other than I. I missed a log somewhere. Where's log 21? That's where. I will go back and get it, even though it's a pain in the ass to go all the way back through that space. And here's the memory terminal I missed. Go figure. Oh, no wonder I missed it, because I gotta, like, shoot myself over there. Can I... touch it? If I'm within ra Yes, I can. There are 23 of us left alive, most of whom are sick. Command has been locked down from the inside. The watchers are what's killing us. Yeah, but... What? I already read that, though. Then why didn't that show up before? Whatever, I got it now is the important thing. Alright, I guess I'll do the firing myself across space again. There. Okay, now do I go down to the left in my little room, or do I go up and to the right? I'm going to go down first into specimens. And there's just nothing in here. I mean, this is where the brains were. But nothing I can do in here. That's that. Oh boy. Oh boy. 
It always were he picking using fr 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 Hurt, 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 hurt. I guess this is what happens when you take over the head. Something is wrong with who I am. I can't see that dimension. There's no point apologizing. It's too late for you now. Ugh. You are sick. You will die. Unless... A hundred twenty-four. Every orb in the game, I assume, because that's an oddly specific number, but I've gotten everything. Incoming transmission detected. Broadcast location. Unknown vessel. This is Rescue Charter 509 Alpha responding to SOS request. Do you read, over? Uh, to anyone on board, we're seeing some troubling readings here. Whatever you're exposed to, you're going to have to get off that station before we arrive, or we're going to be bringing home bodies, over. We'll be with you in approximately 13 hours, Theseus. That's one, three hours. Out. Theseus mission parameters. The natural resources placed within our reach are all but exhausted. Research station Theseus is one of seven remote outposts established at great expense in a time of great need. Its remit is the long-term identification and synthesis of useful alien materials. We ask our crews to survive on the frontier, beyond the comfort of your families at home, beyond any hope of relief or rescue, for decades at a time. And we ask you to take the labor of that toil and turn it over to us, for the good of the many, and for the good of the families who will not forget you. You will be stationed seven years' travel from the nearest outpost. You will be expected to function largely self-sufficiently and, in the absence of reliable communications, to maintain professionalism in isolation for extended periods of time. An endeavor of this scale has never been attempted before, and you will find extensive documentation stored securely on the root directory. Research Station Theseus is under the Project Sisyphus Operation Umbrella. I can't believe what a dumb name that is, Sisyphus. Uh, okay, 124. If this game ends up being, like, a loop of some kind, I mean, we're, we're gonna get a rescue ship, but, like, we'll see. Authenticate landing sequence. Is there anything to the right? Just an elevator from the other direction. Theseus landing sequence activated. It's so weird, we're just landing on some planet. Landing compromised. Landing compromised. Are you kidding? No, don't tell me that's how it ends. No way. I'm gonna die, the rescue team's gonna find us, and the swap continues. Well, I'd have to live for the swap to continue, I guess. Oh, good. Map unavailable. Do I go up or right? Probably right, but what happens if I go up? Nothing. The Lost Ones, they have rejoined the Great Chain, but somehow they are changed? This is way out there. Life is worth living at any cost. I still feel myself. A mind is not only a brain. No one can make me do that. There is another way. It's the only way to be sure. Yeah, this sounds like the personalities. The choice is the same as before. You can die here, or you can do what you have to do to go on. Yeah, this is Dennett and Chalmers. I have to wonder if the Watchers even 
Like, is this because of the swap? Or were the Watchers just amalgamations from the beginning? Am I allowed to get over there? This is Rescue Charter 509 oh. Alpha responding to SOS request. Stand by for risk analysis. Ground ship. Subject checks out okay, but readings are off the scale. Do I take your body? Recommend full quarantine protocols during extraction. Over. I can't do it. We're gonna get you home. Our ship to ground. We don't have that facility on board. And we're not confident we can safely extract without it. Over. And what are your orders? Over. If I take over his body, we're just gonna become the alien species on that ship. I'm sorry. Oh, I choose the ending. Staying on the planet means that I die. Swapping means that I perpetuate the madness. I'll be a nice guy, I'll stay. But that was my chance to just screw over the rescue ship. That's interesting. I wonder if I'm allowed to reload from this point. I could just jump off, which I think is my only option, actually. I want to just stand here. Yeah. That sucks. There is another mind here. It is dying. What is dying? A disconnection, the absence of knowledge. What is it for? To avoid something worse? Will the mind learn anything? It will cease to learn, but it will retain its identity. For a short time, at least. Oof, that, that's a bleak ending no matter what you do, though. What if I continue? Do I just start at the very end? No. Okay. Unless there's a chapter select or something, I don't think there would be. Because we begin as a new game. I think that's it. Okay. Restart from latest checkpoint, huh? If I press start at the credits? Can I... No, dick move. All right. Well, there you go. That's the swapper. Definitely an interesting concept and execution. Well, we have done it. We have beaten the swapper. And this was certainly an interesting game. The whole thing was puzzle solving with occasional bits of text to give you context for what, well, not what is going on, but what went on, and you're discovering the aftermath of it. It kind of reminded me of the Talos Principle in the way. The gameplay was obviously completely different, but that's another game where you're spending the entire time solving puzzles but trying to discover what the environment you're in is and what happened to get it to that point and why anything matters. And also, like the Talos Principle, I have to admit that after the first few puzzles where I started to figure out the game's mechanics and be more and more impressed by what I could do, it got to a point where I just started using a guide for everything and getting through the puzzles because it was either that or accomplishing the same goal but deleting 30 to 40 minutes of footage of me not figuring out how to solve the puzzles. So it got to that point where I went, you know what, efficiency, let's just do it. But this was still a lot of fun to play. And even with guides, some of these puzzles were tricky to put together. These are very well designed, and it's really cool to see what you can do 
with the abilities you have. You send out a clone somewhere, you swap with a clone. That's what you can do. The versatility of that, though, is actually pretty amazing, especially when you start playing around with four different clones going on different switches or switching bodies so you can go up vertical shafts and things of that sort. It's really just pretty satisfying to see all the pieces of a puzzle come together. And then there's the plot. These stones that are kind of alive in their own ways with this hive mind connection, I think, and eventually Chalmers, the amalgamation swap with one of them and sent them all to some sort of weird frenzy, I guess. And then our character was probably destined to die based on exposure to the Watchers, and even if not, there's too much risk of us sending whatever is wrong with us into the rescue party, so I opted not to. I'm curious as to what would have happened if I did, but I get the feeling it would have just been body swap, implication, it's only going to get worse from here, or something. So I don't think I missed on this grand cutscene or anything like that, but it was interesting that it just straight up gives you an option. It wasn't quickly, do this thing, you might be able to see another ending, it just tells you which ending do you want, this is your chance. This was overall, it's short if you know what you're doing, but it's a very interesting game and the idea is that it keeps you occupied with very difficult puzzles. Also, this game actually does have achievements, none of which I got, because the achievements are finding data logs that are not marked on the map. Turns out there's a bunch of those, and the achievements are just Roman numeral 1, 2, 3, and however many of these things there are. I'm kind of curious as to what those things would offer, maybe some extra insight into the game. I don't know. But either way, it was a cool experience. Thank you very much for watching this Let's Play. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed playing the game. And of course, special thanks to Caro for selecting this game for me to play in the first place. Now, the next game I'm going to play will also be short, but, uh... Ooh, it's going to have a, a very, very different attitude about it. We're going into straight-up goofy territory, but we'll find out what that is later. Until next time, everyone.